I'm showing basically the benefits of an SMP system. So what we have here is a uh, identical setup, both in hardware and software. The operating system is Android 2.2, and the hardware is a dual-core Cortex A9 system, Toka 2 based in this instance. The only difference between the two is on the one on the right, we've disabled the second CPU. You can see that on our monitoring system up here, the one on the left is the dual core system. Currently it's just idling, not doing much, so it's clocked down from a gigahertz, and the second CPU is just on the clock line. Uh, on the right, the single core system, same story, but we've manually disabled the second one. Now, if I launch the demo, So what this demo is doing is rendering 10 popular web pages five times over the minute. And it's also timing itself to see how long it takes to do that. Now visually you can see that the dual core system on the left is rendering its pages a lot faster than the one on the right. This is out of the box, we've done no modifications, uh, we've not um, threaded anything, this is just all standard stock Android, stock Android web browser, uh, stock web pages, and you're getting an immediate benefit. In a moment, we'll output the time it took to uh, render all these pages, and on average, you're looking around 50% performance increase. The one on the left is finished and it took about 41 seconds. The one on the right is still going and probably will be on top of it's about 60 seconds, which is approximately 50 percent of the And this is showing the power of the Yes, uh, so from our history graph, um, you can see that it no balance between the two cores on the dual core system, whereas the single core system just maxed out at 100 percent. Awesome, thanks so much for your time to show us this. I always love when I see exposed color cores in a show. <laughs>